through diligence. Oh, here as well. and they're always prepared. Mm -hmm. Wunder's not in the server with them today, but he would have helped them prep for this matchup. And wow, that's a fantastic opening from Katie. And he will get down secret. That's going to apply pressure. They need to know the rotation's open. And oh, Ooh. Nico caught with his pants down. So he's fallen. Now we find ourselves at a four on four. Let's see if they check on Tessus. I assume they will. Yep. Yeah, is going to check for it. Doesn't have a bomb, but. Wow. Wow, how do you adjust on Glaive? That's actually oh. pretty maddening. The shots coming out right now are very, very sharp from both sides. The device going a little bit closer towards control room. Magisk from the site. Just Kadian now, position noted. Going to be toyed wow. with. And I think he knows this one is not looking very likely. Yeah, if he can save onto his armor here, he can just buy into that scout and not have to reinvest in Kevlar in the next round. You can see Tesla's dealing with four angry Charlotte members over towards ramp. This is a big kill. Nico slowed the ascent or descent. Oh. oh, if one of these hits was down, it does get really quite scary for the T side, even though they do have the superior weaponry. It does seem as though Nico's posting up in towards the vents. Oh. We'll see the cross. Oh, oh, device beheaded. Like a guillotine, but Dupree's going to be waiting, catching this rotation, lovely positioning, going to force them to be uncomfortable. But Tessus finding another. It has been seen, but he seems all too aware that Tessus could be here as well. Obviously, after that shot, Tessus. You can sit it. Sharp. And Nico's on the bomb. Dupree's got to go, and he's got to go fast. He doesn't know him. that he's not on the bomb anymore. Switching to the UMP. Oh, that was the chance. Oh, the info. Molly. There's no world now. Nico's lost this. There we go. Whew. Dupree just offers his life for it. So completely unrelated to what I do for a living. Fast pace though from Glaive. Oh, he's been caught up in the blender. The damage. That's massive work. Esetag even going to cop some flack of that too. Yeah, this used to be a big red pole there, ladies and gents. <laughs> Tessus, there used to be a Magus up there as well. Oof. Dupree, big kill though. Trying to keep things relevant, but the damage they are sustaining doing this they're trying to sell this. They're trying to force out a full rotation. Oh, my. Okay. And up the vents we go. Okay, it's a bit wild. Ten seconds now. There goes Dupree. There goes the bomb. It's over. Nicely handled by Heroic. I like the idea yeah. from Astralis. Oh, they're creeping out. It's contact. Ooh, it's, that's, a, that's a bold play. Hello. Going to see it all, but he's in danger. But he stays completely unscathed. This bore up brings death from above. Two big kills, but he eventually falls down. Then swings, and it's all looking so... So well choreographed. This tag gonna slip down to the vents though. And Megas can call that from Oh Kadian's up in got it heaven. under control. Yeah, where is Kadian in this? Yeah, that is Fine. gonna be the saving grace. He's gotta move now. No time to plan. There's no time. Well, done. Megas can't go down after time. He needs to hold on to this AK and they're gonna give him the room to breathe. The ore from Kadian. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> a horrible game of hide and seek. Katie and Catching Dupree appearing from those vents over an electrical. Oh. And now Esetag retaking territory that was just cleared by the CT side, but the timing's great for Borup. He's stuck around. The amount he can work with is fine as well. Player behind him. Oh, he's still got Katie and Batessas instantly trades. The CT side is so robust. Against Heroic. I, I think that. If you wanted to isolate them, maybe a map like Inferno that they've been having some woes on in recent time. Okay, oh. hold up. There was a... Oh. Oh. Now, Megas did this before. Oh, my God. ties again. Stown is so quick on the trigger. And oh! Crisp! The man has stunning aim. But the bomb's now loose. And the T-side are left in a bit of a scenario, a bit of a situation, a sticky one of that. As this tag's going to find Katie, and that removes a big element. The bore up happy to turret. Stands out in the middle of the site. The smoke's keeping him safe. And as this attack tries to descend to help out his buddy device, it's all gone a bit wrong. But a 1v3. The first player he might have to fight would be in that cubby. Oh, you're not going to do it to him. Oh, he's done it to him. Insult to bloody. There's a huge gap there. I'm not sure if they're going to be ready for this. And already losing on this tag as well. Aww. Yeah, there it is. The gap gets exploited just as that smoke dissipates anyway. Nico given almost a freebie, it feels. The game being controlled by the CT side. And again, <laughs> another. This is brilliant stuff from the CTs. Looking unfazed by Astralis is a rare sentence you have to say, but at the moment, it's all going so well. They have got every single letter they need either dotted crossed or just in the right place down going to keep them locked in towards ramp sets up another kill to come in from Tessus as Kadian finally appears on the scene oh you don't love to see it that's a spray and a half Tessus just holds down mouse one and holds down the round again
Do it. My feelings. Do it. <laughs> Show them. Oh, the P90. It's everywhere. That was uh, some next level BM right there. This is not going to fall in their favor. Heroic. <laughs> Maybe getting a, a little bit too far ahead of themselves. <laughs> if they win this after... Okay. Oh, he's going to do oh, it again. Oh, they are BMing Not again, them. not again, not again. Look at Lord Device. Oh, okay. Yes, Device, yes, good, good. His spidey senses are tingling. It doesn't matter. This is going to be around for Australis, but it is kind of a... Mm. So this might come back to haunt Heroic. Let's let's be honest for a second here. So I didn't mind the P90 rush from Bow Up because their idea was to go for a lobby crunch. I don't hate that. Kavian going to try and <laughs> knife Device. <laughs> what are we, bloody Ents now? Having fun. Okay. You know what's more dangerous? A team who's having fun. Ooh. And we go. Okay, still. Oh. oh, the mouse won. It's not pretty. And now there's this round for Astralis. The two players have now been lost, and the bomb gets dropped into a far from ideal position. It can be recovered. Borup can't quite see it yet, but he can see Dupree. It's a beheading from above, and it's going to be good work from Borup. As device left to watch as it all falls. We've got uh, Astralis. Five sets of Kevlar straight in towards top. Out they go. Denied at the door. Magus gets one. The trade is going to come in there from Kadian, but it looks like Astralis might be riding the ship Hold here on. on the pistol. Oh, Kadian down the vent. That's going to be heard, but they're all on top. Yeah, but he's got the bomb and he's away. Where's Nico? Oh, Nico. Oh, Nico's position's great, but does fall. If he was able to get one, that'd be perfect. Try to isolate one quickly. Uh, Can't get in. through the door. Oh! That could have been everything. It could have been five. It could have been the ace. The AK swing. Ooh. Who's in lower? Oh, that's a big nice thing damage. to take. Yeah, lovely. Stown, one of the rifles as well. Dupree going to find four up. Let's keep Stown, the, one of the weaker players at the moment. Obviously down to only 11 HP. Still in the game. Katie going to be up towards control. And this tag going to isolate Stown. So this tag not being subtle to position, but it's Kadian who's holding that cross, and he is... The most deadly on the server right now. He's having a ball to the game. He wants more, Lauren. They're not even... Okay, okay, device. Device has been... Oh! <gasps> no! What a fumble. There's no way he meant to fall there, surely. Top, making noise in the vent. That's going to be heard. Tessa's locking this down. Jiggling on the ladder. And he falls. Cadian, three massive frags. Magus, we saw his flanks on vertigo he's gonna do something absolutely nuts here to make this one work pistols in the back it's never the easiest the first one lines on up nico down to half hp now dupree now tucked on into the bomb site itself oh wow they've <sighs> completely forgotten about magus position he's found a second that's a third oh my oh! god that's a fourth magus has made that look gorgeous for astralis and maybe saved them for another round unless tessus can change their odds 20 seconds now has to get a move on on the run now, bomb, not to hand, and Magus still on patrol. He's got the angle on it, but Tessus has his head, and now suddenly low HP, Dupree's 12 here. HP, and Dupree. He's on the upper side of things. Is there time to plant? This is going to be so close. Five seconds, four. Oh. I think he's just got that. Yeah, bomb. He's heard the ladder too. Down. And he's heard the steps. Tessus knows what's happening. Did Dupree see him? Out on the oh my Tessus God! Saving the day. Tessa slowly clears towards the lower side. Glaive up top. Nico there. Gets spotted. Nico beheads him. Nico is sharp today as well. His, his shots have been nice right. and clean. And, and they're everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. Wormed their way in. And luckily for them, Magus is still having a brilliant game. But there's always threats against them. And yes, they win the round. Astralis aren't ready for this. No, they don't really have much to say about it. By the time they've already taken over lower, no one's that nearby. S tags somewhat locked out. Stown's trying to capitalize on any players maybe slipping towards vents, but only had the deagle to do so, so he can't get it done, but Kadian can. Effective on 14 HP. Now Tessus pushed up towards ramp, holding back maybe three. Glaive found first, puts so much pressure on device and S tag. They know there's a player nearby, but there's so many more angles to worry about, and another gets save. revealed. They do they have to save. Smoke towards the main position now. Flash will come on over as Tessus is going to swing on around. Has to clear Unbreakable. Good flash from Glaive. He takes down that on Tessus. Going to deal with Kadian as well, who's been damaged on up. And this round here is looking good for Astralis. 20 seconds now, just standing tall. Maybe seeing if they can do any late round damage. That's a freebie for Burr up. Back turn, Glaive goes down. Does anybody else want some? As uh, the weapons are a little bit more important at this stage for Astralis to hold on to than Heroic. So playing the long game here, Heroic. If they can deny device getting 
a better weapon. Stop Dupree from upgrading as well. Here you go, he's gonna try and grab one, and he's lost it as well, so. Uh, utility damage could do work. You're looking at a device to try and tip the scales, but it doesn't work out for him. Nico's got his number. Look towards main, Molly CT vent. Tessus with another, here we go, Lauren. Time to play it, Tessus towards Glaive. That is sharp as anything. This guy's leading the way by example. Magus has been a turret, and he's still a turret. Three kills, keeping Astralis in this one. Kadian dipping down the vents, though. He's away, and Nico trying to hold that doorway. Only two HP, so this is a valuable position for him. Maybe he could still be relevant to this. Maybe even hinder Magus, but three kills. He knows there's a chance of someone there. Kadian's got his own battle to fight, and he loses it. This maybe puts some pressure on Nico. There's a molly here. He can grab right. a molly. And now with the molly in hand, he's got timing on this one. He slows down. S-Tag on the other side, trying to bait this so, so right, trying to play the time so right. He's still got the kit. Doors open. Nico shows his position. Oh, oh Nico! Two HP lands the shot. Molly not needed. The round comes in regardless. And heroic, the young Danes showing exactly what they're made of.